Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm excited to take you to a guided tour through the essential steps that will lead you to become a proficient C++ software engineer. The first step to become a C++ software engineer is to learn the basics of the language. Understanding the fundamentals of C++ and learning its basics are the foundational steps towards becoming a proficient software engineer. Achieving this proficiency can take various paths and I'd like to share three effective approaches that have personally proven valuable to me. The C++ Primer is a comprehensive and widely respected resource for learning C++, written by Stanley Lipman, Jose Lejua, and Barbara Mu. This book is designed for beginners and serves as an excellent starting point for mastering C++ programming. With a focus on practical examples and a hands-on approach, it covers the language's core features, providing a solid foundation for further exploration. On the other hand, Programming Principles and Practice Using C++ by Bian Strastrup is an essential resource for everyone looking to not only learn C++ but also understand the principles of programming. Strastrup, the creator of C++, takes a a pedagogical approach in this book. It's suitable for beginners and goes beyond syntax, delving into broader programming concepts. The book combines theory with practical exercises, making it an excellent choice for those who want a deeper understanding of both C++ and programming principles. The second approach for learning the basics of C++ is through courses. The C++ for Programmers course on Udacity is designed to cater to those who already have some experience in programming. Created by industry professionals, it offers a deep dive into C++ concepts and practices, from mastering the basics to exploring advanced topics. This course provides a structured and comprehensive learning path. The best part, it's free, making it an accessible and valuable resource for anyone looking to enhance their C++ skills. Now, let's shift our focus to learn C++ in 31 hours on Free Code Camp. This course is a fantastic option for those looking to grasp C++ concepts in a relatively short time frame. With a practical approach, it covers the essentials effectively. Ideal for beginners, the course includes hands-on examples to reinforce your learning. Plus, the fact that it's free adds tremendous value making quality education accessible for everyone. Now let's explore an interactive and mobile-friendly way of learning C++, the SoloLearn app. SoloLearn provides an engaging platform for learning and practicing C++ on the go. With interactive lessons, quizzes, and a supportive community, it offers a hands-on approach to mastering C++ basics. The gamified structure of SoloLearn turns learning into a fun and interactive experience, making it an excellent addition to your learning toolkit. As we explore C++ learning resources, remember, there is no one-size-fits-all approach. Each resource, be it the in-depth C++ primer, a structured course on Udacity or Free Code Camp, or interactive learning with SolarLearn, brings a unique perspective. Choose a combination that suits your preferences and goals for a well-rounded immersive learning journey. As we gear up for the next step in our C++ learning journey, let's ensure we have the right tools for the job. Choosing the right integrated development environment and text editor is crucial for a smooth coding experience. Here are my recommendations based on different platforms. For Windows users, Visual Studio stands out as a powerful and feature-rich IDE for C++ development. Its intuitive interface, robust debugging tools, and seamless integration make it an excellent choice for both beginners and experienced developers. If you are on Linux platform, consider using CodeBlocks as your IDE. CodeBlocks is an open source IDE that provides a simple and efficient environment for C++ development. It's lightweight, customizable, and works well for projects of varying sizes. For Mac users, Xcode is a go-to choice. Developed by Apple, Xcode supports C++ development and offers a comprehensive set of tools. With its user-friendly interface and advanced features, Xcode is well-suited for macOS and iOS development. 
Regardless of your operating system, I highly recommend using Visual Studio Code as a cross-platform text editor. VS Code is lightweight, extensible, and supports various programming languages including C++. With a rich ecosystem of extensions, it provides a versatile environment for coding. Moving on to the next step in becoming a proficient C++ software engineer. Practice coding. This step is all about honing your problem-solving skills, a crucial aspect of mastering C++. Here is a strategy to make the most of this practice. Leverage the vast collection of coding challenges on LeetCode. It covers a wide range of topics, allowing you to delve into various aspects of C++ programming, aim to tackle problems of different difficulty levels regularly. Engage with the Code Wars community to solve Kata, small coding exercises that span a range of difficulty levels. This platform encourages learning from others through code reviews, fostering a collaborative learning environment. Explore HackerRank for a diverse set of coding challenges. From data structures to algorithms, HackerRank offers a platform to apply your C++ knowledge in real-world scenarios. Challenge yourself with a mix of problems to enhance your problem-solving skills. Let's delve into the third crucial step on our journey to becoming a proficient C++ software engineer, understanding object-oriented programming. This step involves practical application and exposure to real-world implementation of OOP concepts. Let's navigate through this phase of understanding object-oriented programming in C++. Here are key points to focus on. Classes and objects begin by mastering the fundamentals of classes and objects, understand how to define classes, create objects, and encapsulate data and behavior within them. Inheritance. Delve into the concept of inheritance, learn how to create a hierarchy of classes, reuse code, and establish relationships between parent and child classes. Polymorphism. Explore the power of polymorphism, understand how to create functions and classes that can work with objects of various types, promoting flexibility and extensibility in your code. Encapsulation. Grasp the importance of encapsulation, learn how to hide the internal details of a class and expose only what's necessary, enhancing code maintainability and security. Abstraction. Dive into abstraction, understand how to model real-world entities by abstracting away unnecessary details. This promotes clarity and simplifies complex systems. Now to reinforce your understanding and discover design patterns in OOP, consider exploring this website. Refactoring.guru Refactoring.guru is an excellent resource for learning design patterns in the context of OOP. It provides clear explanations, real-world examples, and interactive diagrams to help you understand and apply design patterns effectively. Let's explore the fourth pivotal step in our journey to becoming a proficient C++ software engineer. Working with the standard template library STL, the STL is a powerful set of C++ template classes to provide general purpose classes and functions with templates that implement many popular and commonly used algorithms and data structures. Here is how you can navigate this step. Familiarize yourself with the diverse range of data structures provided by the STL, such as vectors, lists, stacks, queues, and maps. Understand their characteristics and when to use them in your projects. Explore the wealth of algorithms available in the STL. From sorting and searching to manipulating elements, the STL offers efficient and standardized solutions. Learn how to leverage these algorithms for optimal performance. Understand the role of iterators in the STL. They provide a uniform interface for traversing elements in a container, allowing for flexibility in your code. Dive into function objects or functors and how they enhance the flexibility of algorithms in the STL, learn to use and create your own functors for specialized operations. As we delve into working with the STL, having a reliable reference is crucial. Allow me to introduce cppreference.com, a go-to website for comprehensive and detailed documentation on C++ and more specifically the 
STL. Let's delve into the fifth critical step in our journey to becoming a proficiency plus plus software engineer, learning memory management. This step involves mastering the intricacies of handling memory dynamically in C++. Here is a breakdown of key topics within this step. Understand the concepts of dynamic memory allocation using operators like new and delete. Learn how to allocate memory at runtime to accommodate varying programming requirements. Dive into the world of smart pointers, a modern C++ feature that automates memory management. Explore unique pointer, shade pointer, and weak pointer to ensure efficient and safe handling of dynamically allocated memory. Comprehend the importance of memory deallocation. Explore different techniques, including manual deallocation and how smart pointers automate this process, preventing memory leaks. Inverse the RAII principle, a cornerstone of C++ memory management. Learn how to tie resource acquisition to object lifetimes, ensuring that resources are properly managed throughout their scopes. Explore tools and techniques for memory profiling and debugging. Understand how to identify memory leaks, optimize memory usage, and ensure the overall health of your C++ application. Valgrin is a powerful instrumentation framework for memory management debugging, memory leak detection, and profiling. It provides detailed information on memory-related issues, helping you identify and rectify problems in your C++ code. The CLang Address Sanitizer is a runtime memory error detector included in the CLang compiler. It helps catch various memory-related issues, such as out-of-bounds excesses and use-after-free errors during program execution. GDB is a powerful debugger for C++ applications that includes features for memory inspection and manipulation. It allows you to analyze your program's memory state, set breakpoints, and step through code to identify and resolve issues. Transitioning to the sixth pivotal step in our journey to becoming a proficient C++ software engineer, mastering build systems. Efficient build systems are crucial for managing project dependencies, compiling source code, and streamlining the software development process. Let's explore three indispensable tools in this realm. CMake is a versatile and widely used cross-platform build system. It simplifies the process of building, testing, and packaging C++ projects. CMake generates build files for various platforms and IDEs promoting consistency across different development environments. Make is a classic build automation tool that has been a stable in software development for decades. It reads a file known as a make file to make the compilation and linking of source code, managing dependencies efficiently. Bazel is an open source build and test tool developed by Google. It focuses on providing a scalable and efficient build infrastructure, particularly for large-scale projects. Bazel's ability to parallelize builds and cache intermediate artifacts contributes to faster development cycles. Embarking on the seventh crucial step in our journey, mastering data structures and algorithms, a profound understanding of these foundational concepts is key for developing efficient and scalable C++ solutions. Let's navigate this step with two primary focuses. Implement from scratch. Dive into the implementation of data structures and algorithms from scratch. Building them by hand reinforces your understanding of their inner workings and boosts your problem-solving skills. Aim to code these structures and algorithms in C++ to solidify your knowledge. Comprehend the importance of algorithmic analysis. Understand time and space complexity, big O notation, and how to evaluate the efficiency of your code. This step is crucial for optimizing your solutions and making informed choices in real-world scenarios. To enhance your learning journey, consider exploring the CPP Cheat Sheet repository on GitHub. This repository is a valuable resource offering concise summaries and characteristics of various data structures and algorithms in C++. Let's transition to the eighth critical step in our journey, concurrency and multithreading in C++. This step delves into the realm of parallelism. 
enabling your C++ application to execute multiple tasks concurrently. Here is how you can navigate this essential aspect. Understand the basics of threads and concurrency in C++. Learn how to create and manage threads to execute tasks simultaneously, harnessing the power of parallelism. Dive into synchronization mechanisms to ensure safe interactions between threads. Explore concepts like mutexes, logs, and condition variables to prevent data races and maintain the integrity of shared resources. Explore the world of parallel algorithms provided by the standard template library. Leverage algorithms designed for parallel execution, enhancing the efficiency of operations on large datasets. Grasp the significance of atomic operators in a multi-threaded environment. Learn how to use atomic variables to perform operations that are guaranteed to be executed atomically without the need for locks. Moving on to the ninth step in our journey. Package managers in C++. Effectively managing dependencies is crucial for seamless development and package managers play a key role in simplifying this process. Let's explore two prominent package managers in the C++ ecosystem. Conan is a powerful and decentralized C++ package manager. It streamlines the process of managing and sharing C++ libraries, making it easier to handle dependencies across projects. Conan supports multiple platforms and integrates well with various build systems. VCPKG is a cross-platform open source package manager for C and C++ libraries developed by Microsoft. VCPKG simplifies the process of acquiring and building libraries for your C++ projects. It supports multiple platforms including Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Transitioning to the final step in our journey, explore C++ 17, 20, and 23. Staying abreast of latest language standards is crucial for leveraging new features, enhancing your code practices, and ensuring your C++ skills remain current. Thanks for joining me today. Remember, the journey doesn't end here. Keep exploring, keep coding, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and happy coding.